Kora, members of the faculty, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a huge honor to receive this honorary degree. It's a very special honor to receive it from this university, which has added so much, which has contributed through so much work and for, uh, for such a wonderful cause contributed to what is on the web and to the activities that happen on the web. Uh, there are, of course, uh, like in for any medium, good things and bad things that happen out there, but the work of this uh, university has been is, uh, one of the things which is clearly a uh, wonderful and very important, important step. So it's, uh, it's great to be here. It's great to be honored. Uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to be here because we're talking about ongoing collaborations. Uh, we're not just looking back, we're looking forward. In fact, one of the, if, if there's one danger in having a celebration like this, uh, well, apart from, for me, it's having to follow a speech like that by <coughs> Manuel Castells, that, uh, which, uh, which is very hard to follow. Um, uh, but to have a celebration, of course, uh, we're tempted to look back, and we have to be remember that with something like the web, it's always every layer of technology and layer of creativity is just a platform for new people to come along and do new things. So when we look back in a few years' time, we will be shocked by what has happened. So to spend too much time looking back, it's useful historically so that we understand the future. It's useful so that we understand when we can set our agenda for the future, but also we should never imagine that we're done. We never imagine that the web is as you see it. Never imagine, uh, just look at it and analyze it. Always think how it could be better. Always imagine how things could be better. And you know what the great thing about computing technology is that if you can imagine it being better, then you can go and program it to be better. I think it's a pity that sometimes uh, students and, uh, and children, fi uh, they find the web and they find a computer as something which they, take, they assume is like a refrigerator. It's just there for them to use, not there for them to improve on. Well, maybe they'll improve on the refrigerator. It's, so looking back, it's almost 20 years. We're going to celebrate in, uh, that memo uh, that Professor Castell talked about, that, uh, which I wrote back in the CERN in 1989. I wrote, wrote it in 1989 and circulated it I circulated unaltered apart from the date uh, in May 1990 because there was nothing really that happened to it in between. Uh, so we're going to be soon celebrating the 20 years anniversary of that memo. Uh, and in some ways it seems like a very long time and in some, some, some ways it seems like just yesterday. Uh, Michael, Mike Sendel, who was my boss at the time, has unfortunately passed away. But when uh, people went over his belongings they found in a copy of the memo and in the corner he'd written in his writing in pencil was written vague but exciting. <laughs> um, a, a few people have commented that thank goodness he didn't write exciting but vague. <laughs> <laughs> so he let me do it and I think a lot of things which have happened on the web have been uh, have happened because people's bosses have let them go ahead and do it. Suggest with a wink that they should take some time to do something useful and take the pressure off for doing other things. So uh, we have to celebrate not only the people who have done the things, but also the people who didn't stop them. The t uh, I mean, I, I kept, in the early days, uh, the, the code started working in, uh, just before Christmas in 1990. I have a copy of the web pages that I had at the time from 1991. Uh, I had a list of the web servers. That, uh, and I have a copy of that list when there were 26 web servers on it. Well, how times change. And <laughs> so, uh, so 1994, uh, things were accelerating so much, we had to form the World Wide Web Consortium, which works to make sure we have one web. And that st work is still very important. Uh, still, even though it's uh, the, so the web, because the web works because all the computers speak the same protocols, speak the same languages between each other across the net. Keeping, the, keeping it one web is, uh, is very important. But then as the years went on, we realized we also have to look further ahead and we have to make, uh, we have to do research about the web. And we realized, particularly recently, when looking at the web, we're not looking at it anymore as being a web. It, 
it's not like a, a network of computers, that's the internet. The internet is a network of connected computers. You might think of the web as being an uh, abstract space of connected web pages. And in fact, that I always used to think of the web as being a space of interconnected web pages connected by links. But then when you think about that link, you think why it is there. Well, it was put there by a person under particular motivations. And why did they put it there? So that other people could follow it. So it is the person who made the link, and it's the person who follows the link. So the web, if you have to understand why, if you have to want to not just browse the web, but understand the web, understand how it works, then you have to think of the web as being the web of people, the people that make links, the people that write, the people that follow links, the people that read. And of course, understanding people is a is a far step from what they teach you in computer science. We have a <laughs> concern that in computer science they teach you what happens in a computer or maybe what happens when you connect one or two computers together and you run a protocol across the wire. Well, what's interesting now is what happens when you connect millions of computers together, but more importantly, when you connect people. So now I think of the web as humanity, as connected by technology. When you think about the web as humanity connected, then realizing, then you, when you're working with the web, when you're developing the web, then you have to understand humanity. So when we've just ta started talking about web science, and it's web science, which we're talking about at MIT, at Southampton, and here, and at various other institutes around the world, then we realize that to understand it, we need a, a broad interdisciplinary mix, not just the computer science, but also the psychology, the social science, the economists. I wonder nowadays whether in fact understanding the world of economy is really about understanding a world of people connected by technology. Are the current, in the current when you see on the front page of the newspaper that the people are selling the stocks not because of analysis but because they're afraid, because they've learned to fear what might happen from their friends and their relatives. In fact, what happened, uh, an economic syndrome is in fact a social networking syndrome. So we have to understand, the w to understand the world, we have to stand it, understand it connected. To understand economics, we have to understand the world connected. So web science is this big collaboration. A very important bridge which is being made there is the bridge between the people who understand the technology and have grown up to be physicists uh, who study it and engineers who create it and people, social, or the various social sciences who have been studying people. And I, won't, I wouldn't say creating people, sort of, but even if you refer to yourself, you, as you, you, you refer to yourself as a creature of my, crea a creature of my creation, I, I do not take responsibility for <laughs> creating you at all. I must say, the creative though I may be when it comes to designing technology, I could never have dreamt up a creature uh, so amazingly wonderful as Manuel Castells, so um, <laughs> in my wildest dreams. So that I, I must disclaim all responsibility for. But this, but the, 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 uh, what I take as being uh, a very important part of web science is this bridge between the, the technology people and the social people. And in a way, I take this, receiving this here, where a bunch of us have come from Southampton and MIT, uh, with very much of a technical background, and we've been talking to people who have very much of the, the social sciences background. Uh, our visit has been a bridge. I regard this as being a token, in a way, of that bridge, and I will treasure it as such. And I hope th that it will remind me to keep working uh, in a very interdisciplinary way, regarding the web as humanity, uh, rather than just a technological thing. Always making sure that technology is created in the service of humanity rather than for its own sake and understanding that we need to understand it from all the different aspects together. And so we have to collaborate, we have to uh, work hard, and we have to remember that there is a huge amount in the future for us to do. So we are only just started. Thank you very, very much. <coughs>